Hey guys, Apple has officially released iOS 17.5 Developer Beta 1. Now we've been expecting this one for quite some time. It is finally here for registered developers and public beta testers. You'll most likely see this populate on your devices within the next 24 to 48 hours or so as per usual. Now the download is approximately six and a half gigs. Now, as I always say, this is not going to be taking up an additional six gigs from your device. This is simply overwriting the entire OS so we're starting fresh with a new beta as we go into general head on over into the about section and go into the iOS version there it is 17.5 beta 1 build number 21F 5048F now of course we got plenty of betas before the official release for iOS 17.5 so of course in this video I want to talk about what's new what I've noticed so far that's new with the latest 17.5 beta 1 now as we go into Apple's website they also updated the iPad with iPad OS 17.5 beta 1 Mac OS with Mac OS 14.5 beta 1 Apple TV with 17.5 beta 1 vision OS 1.2 beta 1 and watch OS 10.5 beta 1 all the new updates are available in form of beta as of today so in this video as i mentioned i wanted to share with you guys what's new so far with ios 17.5 the latest beta now we also want to talk about ios 18 because we might have just gotten the first official image of what apple's ios 18 ui could look like so i want to talk about that in today's video as well let's go ahead and dive right in now i want to start off with apple vision pro it's been a crazy day for apple today really Releasing the new spatial persona for Apple Vision Pro. Now, this feature is in beta. It is available for Apple Vision Pro running Vision OS 1.1 or later as of today. Now, spatial persona, as Apple likes to call it, makes you feel like you're in the same physical space as another user. So you can do things like play video games, watch movies, collaborate on a whiteboard with another user. Basically, this enables shared experiences across Vision Pro with Vision OS 1.1, a much needed improvement and update to Apple Vision. Pro today. Now shifting my attention over to iOS 17.5 developer beta 1, there's a handful of features we're waiting on. We're hoping for Apple to add a new stopwatch live activity. We're hoping to see game mode. We're hoping to see a new feature that could allow you to import music from other services directly to Apple Music. However, with the first beta, we haven't seen these changes happen just yet. A lot of these features were removed from iOS 17.4 and we were hoping to see them with 17.5, but this is early, right? This is the first beta. As of right now, we only got one change that I've noticed so far, but to be fair, I've only been using the software, this new beta update for about an hour and a half or so. I'm sure I'll notice other changes later down the road and I'll update you guys. But that one change that I've noticed so far is the fact that now the podcast widget changes color depending on on the actual podcast thumbnail. This is something that was rumored to be coming to iOS 17.5. As you can see right there, we now have the podcast widget changing color according to the thumbnail of the podcast that you're playing. That's something simple, but it gives iOS a really nice touch to the widget for the podcast. Now, something that I've noticed, sort of a bug that has to do with this beta, if we go into the battery section here, the charging optimization options, you see right there the text is sort of uh, messed up, as you can see right there. But of course, this is beta i'm sure apple will address this and change these titles back to where they're supposed to be this one's supposed to be off this one's uh, limit to 80 percent and of course optimized battery charging so the text is just off as you can see right there the titles are just off but that's just the nature of some betas i think apple just forgot to put those titles in there but aside from that i have to be honest i haven't noticed anything additionally that's new with ios 17.5 other than the podcast thing i just talked about so now let's talk about ios 18 Yes, we might have gotten our first glance at the UI for iOS 18. And let's go ahead and dive right into this one because I have a lot to say in regards to this. So what you're looking at here is allegedly the first glance at Apple's Vision OS style iOS design. So what you see here is uh, reportedly the first image from the camera of iOS with the Apple Vision Pro design. Now, according to the source familiar with the matter, Apple is set to be working on two different designs for iOS 18. And now this design here resembles Vision OS and the other design is supposed to be resembling the Apple new sports application that Apple released recently. And according to the source, this new Apple Vision Pro design will adapt accordingly to its environment. So I'm not sure how they're going to pull this off. Maybe they'll be using the sensors within the iPhone 
down to determine if it's light or dark or how this is going to work. But according to the source, as you can see right there, the camera has a Vision OS inspired design. Now, at first I thought this was sort of a bad Photoshop because it sort of looks wonky. But at the same time, remember when this type of information is shared, it doesn't come through as the full resolution or full quality that we're expecting from Apple. So if we jump into the camera of iOS and we go into light mode here, for example, you see that the actual controls do not adapt, do not change. However, in this image here, we see that the controls sort of have this translucent effect to them. And also the buttons here for the different camera sensors and different camera uh, lenses you see here that has sort of that Vision OS style and look. But again, Apple is said to be working on two different designs for iOS 18. The design is not finalized, but this could be the first glance at what Apple could be working on, an adaptive operating system that changes according to the environment, time of day, and things of that nature. So a lot to look forward to with iOS 18. This is just perhaps the first look at the new design of the software. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. Do you think this is legit? Do you think this is something you would want to see on your iPhone? as early as this year. Thank you for watching. Just a quick update, guys, on the latest Vision OS, iOS, and of course, the future iOS 18. I'll keep you guys posted. If I notice anything else that's new with iOS 17.5, I'll be sure to share that information with you guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.